Happy Wednesday! Oh my goodness, it's so crazy that we're this close to spring break. Oh my goodness, guys. So dial in, make every effort to do the best you can. And good news is we've already done this lesson, basically. So this is review. Today we are learning about estimating products. And if you remember, a product is the answer to a multiplication question. So, product is what we're learning about. We're estimating, which means that we are going to find the closest number. Remember, we talked about compatible numbers yesterday, numbers that are easy to work with. So, um, I'm at the top of page 505. So, page 505. And we are going to read together about a person named Manny. Here we go. In lesson 30, we estimated sums and differences. That was a long time ago. Lesson 30 was at the beginning of the year. In this lesson, we will estimate products. So Manny and two of his friends went to the amusement park. Each ticket cost $18. So now, off, off the bat, I'm thinking $18 is really close to what? I already know you're, you're screaming out the answer. It's 20 I can add up three 20s so much faster than I can add up three 18s. Does anyone agree with me? Awesome. So 20 plus 20 plus 20 or 20 times 3 is what we are going to do here. So let's go ahead and do 20 times 3. And if you already know the answer, that's awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and do it as class. 0 times 3 is 0. And 2 times 3 is 6, making this answer $60 is the estimated cost for Manny and his friends to go to the amusement park. Okay? So let's do example number 1. Here we go. Example number 1 says, Tickets to the professional baseball, sorry, basketball game were $38 each. $38 is not a number that I want to work with. Yes, that is the price of the ticket, but I don't want to work with 38. So I'm going to say 38 is really close to 40. So I'm going to estimate and say 40. And again, we have Mr. Jones, and he's buying four tickets. So I have 40 times 4 instead of 38 times 4. 0 times 4 is 0, and 4 times 4 is 16, making this total $160. If four tickets for a professional basketball game were $160, I would totally go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Next one, example. And again, remember guys, you can always rewatch this. You can always stop. If you need clarification, you can rewind. That's the beauty of technology. Okay, let's go to Jamal, and then after this example, you do your lesson practice, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys um, got this down pat, so that's really good. Jamal counted 195 words on one page, 195 words. In your head, you should already be thinking, hmm, what am I going to estimate this number to? So, Jamal counted... 195 words on one page. About how many words would Jamal read on five pages? Whoa. So I already know I'm going to round 195 to 200 because that is really close. And that's a number that I want to work with. Remember, you are putting a number on here, the easiest one to work with, that's the closest. So if you, um, if you went all the way down to 100, that would not be close, right? That would be a number we want to work with, but it's not close enough to be an estimation. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so 200. And remember, we're multiplying by 5 to estimate our sum. So 0 times 5 is 0. Remember, with triple digit multiplication, we have to multiply every single number by this number on the bottom. We just learned that, I think, on Monday or maybe Friday. 0 times 5 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, and 2 times 5 is 10, making our number what? I hope you can scream it out. The answer is 1,000 words. So, please do your lesson practice. This was an easy lesson for the day. 
congratulations. Since we've already learned estimating, and we kind of did it yesterday, that was your five-minute mini lesson. Get that lesson practice done and all the other subjects and go play outside. Miss you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.